Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, do not wait. Angelsouls444.com Also check out the description box. I have lots of lives coming up. It would take too long to announce all of them here. Just look at the description box below and you will see. Make sure you get your tickets, okay? <laughs> all right. The, the lives have been great. They have just been incredible. Okay, so Isaiah. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So we were talking, if you watched yesterday, we were talking about um, a card that popped up and it didn't really have the literal meaning that maybe it once had, but more of the idea of um, watching the ego and really checking ourselves, right? And, and doing the growth that we need to do, which might be admitting a hard truth to ourselves, right? So this follows right after that. So this Isaiah card is saying once you get into the space of releasing that, once you start waking up to some of these dynamics, back up in a way, I, I keep, <laughs> I was using the term pop-up, like the pop-up tarot reader. You know, the ones that just picked up a deck last week and, you know, I mean, some people do just pick up a deck and they just are a natural at it. But then they go out on social media and you watch them and they don't know what they're talking about. I'm not even like a strict tarot reader, but I know enough to know that that's not it. That's not, and they're just, oh, be careful of that. Or the pop-up psychics and the, like I said, the tarot readers pop up anything, okay? We're all on a journey. Nobody should be putting themselves on a pedestal, okay? So this is giving birth to a new situ situation in your life by understanding that and allowing it to go. So that you can move in a whole new direction. Now, this is considered the baby card, but this would be one of those things, right? Like people, I've seen so many people just trying so hard to have babies and, and all this stuff. And um, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but energetically speaking, to the point where you're pushing so hard that maybe you're stressing yourself, what have you. This would be the time that if, like, let's talk about a touchy topic, like trying to get pregnant, um, maybe if, if you're dealing with infertility issues, you know, things like that and the struggle behind that, um, you know, stepping back and asking yourself, what, what am I getting stressed about? What is my real fear here? Well, you might say, well, the fear is that I won't get pregnant and that would devastate me. Why? I don't know. I just want a baby. Not good enough. Why? No one will go there. How much you want to bet? Because then we start getting into some potentially, not for everybody, but some potentially nasty territory of, well, I've, you know, been taught that that's my self-worth. That's what my husband wants. My parents are pressuring me. All my friends are having babies. And that goes towards women specifically. You don't like what I'm saying? That's just your programming glitching. Now, if you say, well, wait a minute, just hang on a second, Michelle. Having a baby is one of the most beautiful things ever. I, I, okay, I got you. I've never had kids myself, but I have a niece and nephews who, I, I know it's not the same thing. I didn't, they didn't come from my body. I know. All love and respect on that one. Whew, oof. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was always a little afraid of being pregnant, like a little bit, like, whoa. um, yeah, I always kind of imagine it must be like an alien coming out of your body. Like, whoo, I don't know. But the babies, the babies that I don't even get me started on babies. I love babies more than anything in the world. But what I'm getting at here is that, um, sometimes you're putting so much pressure on yourself and pushing so hard that you're pushing it out of your existence. And when you're in that mode, that is an opportunity to stop and be real with yourself. If you have a partner, be real with your partner. What exactly is pushing us and stressing us out about this? Right? Now, obviously, that gets into a huge conversation. Um, women who are getting older and then they're getting all this messaging like, oh my gosh, your geriatric pregnancy at 36. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I, I'm sorry. And I know, no, 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 but everybody, and we're down this rabbit hole. Let's just, let's just keep tumbling. Um, I know, um, like biologically or whatever, medically, sure. But I know, comment down below. I know my grandma had my dad at 42 or 43. I mean, what? Anyway, so that was back in the 50s. So anyway, what I'm getting at here is whatever we're pushing on. To take a moment, especially if you feel the stress, if you start to feel like you're going to miss out on something or um, like somehow you're not fulfilling your destiny or whatever, this is a moment to stop, evaluate, really look deeply at it. And just using the example, let's say there's a couple that's just feeling pressure or they just think this is what you're supposed to do. They may sit with each other and go, you know, if, if I'm honest, if I'm allowed to be honest, I think we're too young. Or, you know, to be honest with you, I kind of want to get my career going a little bit first before we start a family. Okay, so grab on to the opportunity to reevaluate and take the pressure off yourself. Remember, little souls will find their way to you no matter what. My nephew, Zayden, I swear, it's a weird story around that, but I thought I was going to be having a baby around the age of 37. And it turns out my sister had a baby around 37. And I just had a weird feeling like when Zayden came along, it was like, oh my gosh, he was the little soul I felt floating around and here he is, but he's not my kid. He's my nephew, right? But that doesn't mean that we don't have a bond. That doesn't mean that we don't understand each other, right? I mean, you can have love across biological boundaries, okay? So just remember that. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.